Hey everyone, happy new year. Bitcoin is booming, so let's talk about it. Now, about 24, 22 hours ago, I put out a video talking about my price target for this current little rally to be around 43,500. It looks like it's actually gone even above that though, but price target is hit. This is where I'd be scaling out my first chunk of profit just to make sure everything is locked in. And basically, now that we're in this position, now we have to start looking away from the one hour charts and start looking a little bit more into the four hour charts because now here they go again we had that buy signal um uh, right about here right at this top that's where i decided to buy back in wasn't a terrible move but you guys can see we did have this dip of a pullback around 1.17 percent i made the mistake of moving my stop loss up from right here to right here-ish and it dipped down and it got me out. I made a stupid mistake just because it was New Year's and I didn't want to actually uh, pay too much attention to my trades. And so I did not get to enjoy this profit, which really breaks my heart. However, some of you guys have been able to make a good profit out of this. So that cheers up my heart for the 2024 New Year here. So basically guys, we're hitting this level of resistance. We can always go a little bit higher here, but I think this is a respectable place to take that first chunk of profit here. Next up, you're seeing that we're not hitting those death crosses like we thought we might. Now we're looking at another death cross where Bitcoin has one last opportunity to get back up here towards 44,400 44, and actually have that breakout. If that's the case, then we're kind of saved in the short term. The daily technicals are going to be slowing down. You can see that um, the move down that's been happening for the past, oh, I don't know, you know, a couple weeks now. They're starting to tick back up. RSI is positive. Stochastic is about to be positive maybe by the end of the day. And the MACD is getting positive, but not there yet. So not really the big boom, boom, like you just want to buy and hold for a week type of thing. Although I am seeing some people do that uh, based off of just the moves we've been seeing on the four hour chart here, which is perfectly okay. Now, basically what I'm looking for next is asked for to retest this level of 44,400 or so really I would be scaling out another chunk around $44,000 even. It's just me. Those $500 increments make sense right now because we've had a lot of trouble to actually breaking above these levels. So weekly chart, just so you guys know, we're still in this consolidation pattern, but we're still on the weekly charts making higher lows, higher lows, right? We have an opportunity to break the two week cycle of lower highs. We're trying to do that very, very uh, aggressively, I would say right now. But the big thing is Bitcoin's still consolidating. We haven't actually decided which way to go in the medium term. Short term, good. Medium term, iffy. Uh, more longer term, still iffy, I would say, just because of the news. Uh, oscillators are pointing to more bearish moves in the next uh, couple months. But because of the ETF news, it's just hard to really get that going for me. Now, there are a few things breaking out like Solana. I told you guys I was uh, buying this a couple weeks ago. I can't even remember the exact time I told you guys I was buying Solana. So let me go over here. It was around 107. All right. Now at 108, I'm back to breaking even. I'm hoping it goes a little bit higher. And basically, this is something I want to hold for a couple more weeks. This is one of those things where it's just it's its own thing. Bitcoin technicals can kind of slow it down like you saw right here, but it won't call it, cause it to ultimately crash just because the hype train has gone crazy. And you guys know influencers are pumping this up. I'm just catching the ride and trying to make some money as well. Uh, we have a few other ones like Sushi and Theta. Actually, let me go to the daily for Sushi. Looking pretty well. Again, hitting those levels of resistance. Altcoins didn't necessarily crash, although some did. Theta's finding a way to bounce back up. Anything else that I really want to talk to you guys about? Uh, Filecoin seems to be booming up right now. This would be a good one for a day trade. Were there any buy signals? Uh, I mean, yeah, the big buy signals seem to start right around here. Probably the hour chart seems to be a little bit better of an indicator. Yeah, so right here. And you had a few hours of holding. Nice little pop. This pop would have made you up to 10%. More realistically, you guys might have made like 6%. I'm not going to say anybody's <laughs> going to be making millions on this channel. But yeah, seems like things are going good. Compound is always doing well here, up 7%. It's one of those things on Robinhood. And Bonk is trying to make a recovery here. So maybe people might get interested in Bonk once more. Hope you guys all have a good new year. I'm heading over to my grandparents' house to go watch a bowl game today with Loki, wherever Loki is. Loki, where's Loki at? Oh, there's Loki at. Yo, yes, you're a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Yeah, so a lot of stuff going on today. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your night, and I will be streaming somewhat later on tonight. Thanks.